Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out a update that does roll out on a regular basis that we talk about from time to time on the channel. And I have noticed on my Windows 10 device in my region today that I received once again the update KB4023057 and Microsoft does push this out to both Windows 10 and Windows 11 on a regular basis and the last time I received it on my Windows 10 device as we can see was the 30th of August and this is region specific so it doesn't mean because it's rolling out in my region it will be in your region I have noticed um, after posting a lot of these uh, videos that Microsoft does push them out to different regions at different times but nonetheless just bring your attention to this because this is actually an important update now what it does is it improves the reliability of the Windows Update Service Components. So it addresses issues that affect the update process in Windows 10 and also Windows 11 that may prevent Windows updates from being installed. Now, um, as mentioned previously, this is a mandatory update and it will be automatically downloaded and installed. It uh, doesn't require a system restart after the update has been applied and it really just takes a couple of seconds um, it's a very quick update and in most cases will just be applied automatically in the background without you even knowing that the update has rolled out. Now something else it does is if we head back into our settings and we head over to our apps, uh, it installs the Microsoft Update Health Tools. So KB4023057 installs this little tool in Windows 10 and also Windows 11. Microsoft Update Health Tools, it's very small, only 1.03 megabytes in size. And what this tool does, it may do a couple of things if it does detect issues on your system because as mentioned, the update rolls out to address issues that affect the update process that may prevent um, updates from being installed. So if there are any issues on your system, what this tool, Microsoft Up Update Health Tools, will do, it may do a couple of things. It may try to reset your network settings if problems are detected, and it will clean up registry keys that may be preventing updates from being installed successfully. A second thing it may do is repair disabled or corrupted Windows operating system components. The third thing it may do is compress files in your user profile directory to help free up enough disk space to install important updates. Because as many of you will know, you need a certain amount of disk space on your device to be able to install updates. So if it does detect a couple of junk files that are no longer needed, it will attempt to free up that space. And then the fourth thing it may do is reset the Windows Update database to repair the problems that could prevent updates from installing successfully. So there you go, that as mentioned helps basically to prepare your Windows 10 device and also Windows 11 for up and coming future updates. Now, just something else to take note of is that the actual tool itself can be uninstalled, but the update KB4023057 cannot be uninstalled. So just take note of that if you are trying to install uninstall the actual update, it cannot be uninstalled, just the tool can be uninstalled. So just bringing it to your attention, as mentioned, you may have seen this over on Windows 11. I'm only seeing it on Windows 10 currently in my region, but that's KB4023057 that improves the reliability of Windows updates and service components and prepares your device for future updates. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.